Hi guys, I'm Eileen. Today, I want to talk about the luxury items I will never buy. So I've come across some luxury pieces which I think are super heavily overpriced and I don't recommend anyone to buy them either. If you happen to own any of these items, please don't take any offense. It's only supposed to be a fun video. But to be honest though, even though I enjoy luxury shopping, I still can't believe how expensive some of these items are. I mean, a box of pencils really shouldn't cost £70 just because they are from Dior. Anyway, I'm going to share these items with you guys and please let me know if you share the same thoughts about them. The first ones are the Dior Friendship Bracelets. Now, if you follow me for a while, you know I'm not a big fan of designer costume jewelry anyway. I just cannot justify the hefty price tag for something that's made of silver, crystals and faux pearls. For example, the Chanel costume jewelry are really popular, but I've never felt the urge to buy them. Truthfully, I would much rather save up a bit longer and buy fine jewelry instead. However, looking at the big picture, they don't actually seem so bad compared to the Dior Friendship Bracelets. Now I'm sure the embroidery on these pieces are top notch, but essentially they are bracelets made with canvas. And so to pay three to four hundred pounds for a set of two is really beyond my comprehension. So no, I will not buy them and I don't recommend them. The second luxury items I personally will never buy are the Hermes Phobi bag organizers. These are available in silk or canvas and you can also find them in either the size 20 or 25. I usually don't use a bag organizer because most of my handbags are fairly small. But if I ever get one, I think the main purpose would be to keep the shape of my handbag. I've seen the Phobi organizers in person and they seem quite flimsy. I think they are mainly designed for easy transfer from one bag to another rather than keeping the shape of the handbag. More importantly, they are just really expensive for what they are. In fact, the smaller size in the canvas material costs nearly £400. Now, I love many things from Hermes, so I'm sure these pieces are very well made as well, but I don't think I will ever get one. Next, I don't think any super tiny designer handbags are worth buying. The super tiny bag trend started in the last two years, and the Jack Mills Lee Chiquito Leather Totes have been especially popular. Other options include the Hermes Constance Micro, the Chanel Mini Coin Bag, and the Balenciaga Hourglass Mini Leather Tote. In all fairness, I guess these pieces are supposed to be worn as very trendy accessories rather than handbags. Personally though, I just want my handbags to fit at least my basic essentials like my keys, phone, and a card holder. So I would much prefer to buy functional handbags and invest in other accessories instead like jewelry or hats, just pieces that will not look too out of place in a few years time when the trend is gone. Along the same line with designer super tiny handbags, I also think luxury phone pouches are not exactly worth your money. These products are quite new on the market, but it does feel like more and more luxury houses are coming out with their own versions. For example, the Gucci ones are about £600 each, and the Christian Louboutin ones are about £500 each. As the name suggests, these are bags for your phones, so they are quite small and narrow, and should just fit your phone and not much else. But a lot of them do come with compartments for your cards, to be fair, I think some people might find these pieces quite handy to have. For example, if you have to drop by somewhere very quickly and you want to carry only the absolute minimum. For me though, these pieces are quite limited in terms of functions, so I personally will not spend a lot of money on one. If you're looking to add something small to your luxury handbag collection, there are a lot of amazing mini handbags out there which are fairly compact. I personally really like the YSL Mini Lu bag. I think it's really chic, tiny, and functional. Next ones might be a bit controversial, but I don't think luxury keyrings are worth buying. 
unless if they can actually cover your keys and stop them from scratching your handbags. For example, the Louis Vuitton key pouches and key holders. Personally, I've always used cheap and cheerful key rings. Most of them are souvenirs from other people. And I would say most of my pieces started getting quite a lot of scratches in about two months time. So for me, my key rings sustain a lot of wear and tear on a daily basis. Therefore, I will not spend a fortune on getting one or having a collection. In fact, luxury key rings like the very popular Hermes Carmen key rings and the Louis Vuitton monogram key rings cost about £300 each. So if you're planning to get one, make sure it's something you'll be using for a long time. The next luxury items that I think will make very poor investment pieces are luxury airport cases. I've seen some really adorable cases, but they are definitely not cheap. For example, I think the YSL case is really beautiful. At £200, some people might think it's not a big deal in the scheme of things, especially for luxury shopping. But my first instinct was, that's crazy money to spend on an iPod case, until I found out the Chanel one costs over £800. Honestly, I'm not sure who will spend that kind of money on an AirPod case, especially because unlike the original case, these will not charge your AirPods. I personally don't own the Apple AirPods. My wireless headphones are from Amazon and the case is very sturdy and waterproof. In essence, I don't think any luxury AirPod cases are worth your money and I really hope they will not make it onto your wish list. The next luxury items I will not buy are designer or luxury hair clips. Now I think hair clips can be very lovely accessories, but I just don't feel like we need logo on our hair as well. This is just my feeling, but I think luxury houses are taking every opportunity to put their logo on everything and then try to make a profit out of it. For example, these Prada hair clips are selling for £280 for a set of two. I hope I don't sound too harsh, but I don't think I would want them even if they were free. Then we have this Gucci hair clip, which for me looks quite tacky and loud, and I certainly would not recommend anyone to spend £600 on one of these. Next are luxury lipstick cases. Just like the AirPod cases, these pieces have very limited functions because you can't really use them for anything else. Some of you might know Hermes launched their lipstick collection earlier this year and now you can also find their leather lipstick cases. I love the leather products from Hermes but I would never spend £1500 on a lipstick case even if the quality is amazing. I mean, at this price, you could buy diamond pieces and fine jewelry. I've also seen lipstick cases that come with a chain. For example, I've seen one on the Chanel website for £850. But I don't know, it just feels like now there's a case for absolutely everything. And for me, it's kind of a waste of money. I personally don't wear lipstick anyway, and even if I did, these luxury lipstick cases would be one of the very last things I would ever buy. I will also not buy luxury phone cases because they get outdated fairly quickly. I mean, the minute you change your phone, there's no use for the case anymore. Now, just like any other products, you can now find these cases from just about any fashion houses. But today, I want to talk about the Loewe Elephant cases, which cost about £300 each. Now, these are very, very cute, but I think the elephant kind of defeats the purpose of having a phone case in the first place because with the elephant on the back, I imagine you would have to put your phone with the screen facing down, which might then cause scratches. So when it comes to phone cases, I would much prefer to go for something basic but functional. The next luxury items I don't think are worth buying are designer t-shirts. In my own wardrobe, I don't mind splurging on certain elements like cashmere, scarves and coats, but I will not spend a fortune on designer t-shirts. Therefore, I never really paid a lot of attention to them. I remember I was really shocked to find out that the Dior t-shirts cost nearly £600. I've never had any t-shirts at this kind of pricing, so I'm sure the quality and the materials are great, but I just cannot justify paying this much for a t-shirt. 
To be honest, I often wonder if designer t-shirts would do so well if they didn't have a logo, but I have a feeling the answer is no. I have two Bauman t-shirts which I bought from quite a long time ago, but I can't say the quality is that much more substantial. If you have any luxury t-shirts, I would love to know if you think these pieces are worth your money. The last luxury items I don't see myself ever buying are designer PVC handbags. I saw quite a number of these handbags from several fashion houses last year, but this year it feels like the trend is slowly going. Anyway, two of these bags really stood out to me. The first one is the Prada bag that costs about £700 and the second one is from Valentino that sounds from £800. Even though most of these PVC handbags do come with a small portion of leather element, most of the handbags are made with PVC which is a fairly cheap material. So I don't think it's a good idea to pay so much for a designer one. If you're still building your luxury handbag collection, I would suggest to leave this to the bottom of your wish list. There you have it. Those are the luxury items I don't recommend anyone to buy. I hope I don't sound too harsh, but I actually consider some of these items a waste of money. I hope this video hasn't offended anyone, but if you own any of these items, please let me know if they are working out well for you. And if you have anything to add to my list, please let me know in the comment section down below. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to share, like and subscribe. I will see you in my next one. Have a nice day.